Hey, Curtis Johnson here with Positioning for Profits, and let's just dive right into lead conversion. So we get a lot of questions on lead conversion, so we're looking at our dashboard in the back of our system here. And uh, one of the first things that, obviously, you've got to be able to get your leads imported, and we use our uh, different lead parsers and all sorts of different things to get all of our lead sources in here, and that's in a different video. Uh, but this one I want to kind of focus on, uh, once the lead's in here, this one's online right now, what do we do, right? So we can get to a call or email or activity right here. And then also in the back, one of the biggest things we need to be able to do to convert leads is we need to be able to uh, track all the activities. And we do that. And every time we make a note or anything, it tracks it here. Um, but one of the biggest things is we're going to make a call to them, right? So as soon as we click call, this gives us a few different ones, a few different things. Obviously, we can log what happened in the call. We can put in notes or anything else like that and save it. Do we want to notify another agent or lender or anything else like that? And also put in, when's the best time to follow up? And what are we trying to do um, in that follow-up uh, thing? But one of the biggest things I've found is we spend a lot of time focusing on scripts and so forth like that on my team. And if the script is not right in front of the agent, many times they'll just wing it. And that's what I like to say here. No thanks, I'll just wing it. Um, and then we've got a lot of Don and I's best scripts and voicemails and all kinds of different things in here. Let me just kind of show you this one. So this is our, what we call our WizGat soft web lead uh, callback script right here. And this is just, you know, hi, this is Steve. This is Curtis, Curtis Johnson Realty. I see you're on my site searching for homes in my area. I want to see how we can best help you with your search right now. Okay, listen to what they say. Hey, most people are just starting to look around. I was hoping to help you out. I see that you're mostly looking for properties in Scottsdale that are four to five bedrooms, about 5,000 square feet, and about a million and a half dollars. Would that describe the home that you're looking for? And then right here, we auto drop this right in. So, you, so one of the biggest problems agents have is if they don't have a script in front of them, they don't have all the information on the client. So uh, they'll spend the next half hour trying to gather and search and what were they looking for and so forth. So we drop that right into the script. These are the last five houses. They can click on any one of these and drive them right to it. But these are the last five houses that this client or this lead has looked at. We can click on here and we can pop this thing up right here. And this will pop up the last uh, emails that we sent to them with the houses that we sent. So you don't have to go, well, what were the last houses we sent? And then um, right here, you know, now are you looking for a place for yourself or is this an investment property? So you can type that in, tab over to the next one. Tell me a little bit more about your situation. Um, you know, let's say they're looking and they're a seller. You can click this button. It'll save all the information here. And then it'll pop up a new seller script that you can, your buyer agent or listing agent, whatever it is, can jump right over to. But if not, you want to go all the way through. You can, you know, change the script. You can do whatever. And then you've got the script right in front of that for your agents. So get down to the bottom. They save it. All that information is captured right into the lead record. Okay. So that's one way, one of the biggest ways to be able to do that. Obviously, we, we correspond a lot by emails. So we've got some of the best email uh, drips and so forth like that. To, to be able to put in there. You can set them up on action plans and create action plans or use some of the ones that Don and I use. Um, when you're working with them, having right here, having agents have the ability to pull up all the houses that they've looked at, all, a quick little synopsis of the house, MLS number, all the information so they can quickly go right here. They can get all the information on it. When was it? And then what about the listing alert history, right? So what about that when you're, you've clicked on it, um, you know, looking at that, what are all the different alerts and all the different things like this? This one's pretty intensive uh, to be able to pull this up. But, you know, hey, we're looking for houses every day. Here's all the email updates and so forth that we've sent out to, to this person. So all these different things help in the lead uh, conversion system with it. From a uh, team leader standpoint or so forth like that, we know it's speed so important. You can click here to be able to see, okay, um, how old are these these leads? Okay, these are two hours old, three hours, and you want to be able to have agents jump on these as soon as possible uh, to go and start working on these. Okay, so some of the other different things that we can do uh, as a team leader to make sure that we're able to convert those is we click on we've got what we call a pipeline because agents need to be able to have a pipeline and be able to show what you know who they're working with, what what stages and so forth. And I've got all my agents in here right here, so it can be a little bit overwhelming with that. But I could click on here. I could just say, hey, I want to look at everybody because um, all the agents can rate their leads and say, here's my next 10 escrows. If I had to choose out of my 100 leads, 
who are these are the 10 hottest and you can score those at any time and uh, i can look at all the the top 10 most likely to go into escrow for my team i can look at buyers uh listings all the escrows the close the closed out by admin all these different things so this is by my entire team right buyers we've met with and still converting because so often we had a lot of buyers that we'd meet with and we'd uh, even sign buyer brokers and then we just miss them we'd lose them because we'd be on to the next one this kind of helps us stick with them and not lose them as often right sellers we've met with and we're still converting able to kind of do a lot of different stuff um, with that so this is let's see what section is this one right here so you can see this is a little bit overwhelming because we have you know kind of have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of buyer leads but a lot of hot buyer leads right here so current signed buyers, we've got 155 current signed buyers, but all of them are in here, right here. They're in one spot from all my entire team, and it's got escrows, it's got everything like that. So let me just kind of show you how this looks for a little bit man more manageable. Let me just grab Rob real quick here, and hopefully his is set up pretty well. Give you an example. Just in his, in this is what the agent sees. As a team leader, you see everybody's, or you can look at individual agents. So buyers, he's met with and still converting. He's got one of those. Sellers, he's met with and still converting. Seven of those. Uh, current signed buyers, five signed buyers with it. You can see the visual progression system throughout that. Doesn't have any current signed listings. Has 11 current escrows. And 22 closed that have just been closed out in this. Okay, so then down at the bottom, he also has my next 10 escrows. So he has the people that he believes that are going to be the next 10 hottest people. So... They can also grab those, and you can drag and drop the, the leads. Let's say I want to move this one up to the top. You can drag and drop that. It's very simple, and it gives the agency ability to be able to kind of look at that each day and say, hey, what's my pipeline like? Okay, so that's one of the big ways we're able to convert that from a team leader. You always be able to manage and look over it, and you can go into the different uh, sections, into the stats, and be able to see what are the agents doing over the last 90 days or leads or They've got six current escrows, and how many leads have they got in the last 30 days? And how are they are they moving them through the process, or uh, what have you? So all of these different things, all of these go into how we convert leads. It's important get the leads in there, get to them fast, have value when you speak with them on the phone, having your script right there, having a great follow up system that and make sure that that lead cannot get lost. Drop it into the steel trap, and then you as a team leader need to make sure that you can monitor this just like you're you know if you were a business and you had a store you would want to know what the inventory is and that's the same thing here stop losing leads stop losing deals because you're not tracking it and we make it so simple to be able to track your entire business and for this first time really run it like a business so hopefully that helps out and uh, make it a great day